Alright, mate. Get that down your neck. Cheers, man. You know, I still don't believe it. It's just so wrong. It shouldn't have happened. Not to a good lad like him. It makes you think, what is this all about? I mean, say the vicar is right and there is a god. Then what's this all for? And why would you let this happen? Lads, if there is a god, then he's either a sadistic bastard or he stopped caring a long time ago. You're not one for all that stuff then? What, all the god and heaven stuff? <sighs> not really. I was always a bit too cynical for that. To be honest, so was John. He only really believed in the things he could see in here. He never believed in that kind of stuff. You know what I keep thinking? The look on John's face that we're playing rock and roll at his funeral. <laughs> you know what? He would have loved it. Yeah, he would have, man. He'd have loved it. You bet. Have an ACDC in the church. <laughs> Found it a lip. Not to mention, cool as hell. But hey, he wouldn't have wanted it any different, would he? I always remember the time when it came down to that barbecue at our house a couple of years ago. We were all absolute <laughs> shit. Let's get another drink down this. It's my round. What do you all want? Uh, pint, please, mate. Actually, what say we get into a few whiskeys in John's honour? If there's one thing he enjoyed more, it's a good whiskey. If there's one thing that I remember about John, was that he always had your back when the shit hit the fan. You could always count them stand by your side. Do you remember that time when we got in that trouble down at the Rough Estate? When those drunk lads died on us? Most people wouldn't have confronted them. There were that many of them. But you two just stood there and told me to run. And you stood up to him. Well, we weren't going to let the bastards get you, were we? That's what mates do. You stand there and they fight for each other. <laughs> Could always look to John for that. You know when the chips were down and things looked bad, he'd always be there to share the weight, wouldn't he? Cheers, mate. To John. Friendliest, bravest, most loyal person I've ever had the privilege of you knowing. To John. To John. To John. What am I supposed to do now? How am I supposed to carry on with things? You've got to take it just one day at a time, mate. This situation isn't right and it isn't normal. But you can't just pack it all in. John wouldn't want you just to throw in the town now, would he? No, mate. No, call me a soft kid and tell me to grow up out, wouldn't you? Exactly, mate. You've done him proud today. You and Josh carried him into the church and he kept it all together. You got the job done. Despite what you're both feeling inside, he would have been bloody proud of the pair of you. And remember, we're here for you if you need us. Yeah, mate, you're not alone in all this, all right? You know I'm here for you. Cheers, lad. What would I do without you, like? <laughs> I know, man. It's not often you come across great people like us, caring, you know, 
generous. And also not too bad on the eyes, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Hold on a sec. Apple. 